welcome. Thank you for uh, joining us, uh, Brian and Lathea. My name is Tracy Quinn. I am the project manager and uh, program director for Indica, National Diversity Inclusion and the Cannabis Alliance. And uh, we are a R3 grant recipient, meaning that we have uh, won a grant here in the uh, state of Illinois and Chicagoland area. And we are here to service our community. We're here to provide STEM programs. We provide expungements. Um, we do workforce development. We send people out for uh, for jobs. And today we are blessed to have actor Brian Hooks with us. And he will be spearheading our STEAM program with our, uh, with our, uh, with our youth. Um, we will be, uh, we're launching in partnership with uh, Left of Bang Entertainment. Program participants are taught the basics of independent filmmaking from pre-production, production and post-production. And every session, we'll have a special guest celebrity mentor mm -hmm. that will come online and speak with our participants. You don't want to miss it. You want to bring out your children. Um, you want to sign your youth up for this why? Because in underserved communities, we really don't have an opportunity to get into the film industry. Lathea smiles with Stay Focused Production, Stay Focused Media. Um, they're here, boots on the ground. They've done all types of projects working out in the community. And I'll introduce her um, as well and also let her introduce herself and what they're doing. They did a wonderful film boot camp over the summertime where the children actually created their own small short film. Um, and it was very impactful and it was powerful because one of the students actually lost their brother in the midst of filming. So with that, we want to be able to pour back into our youth. We want to be able to pour back into our communities. We want them to have a positive outlet. Um, and Brian, just um, how did you get involved with Indica? Um, well, it, it was through, um, uh, initially the, um, intro came through a mutual partner who, um, does some pretty amazing stuff for the community in the uh, Fresno area, um, mm -hmm. introducing me to, uh, Benita. And, um, we just had very similar ideas on, I think what the world needs and more specifically what youth need. And when she shared with me what you guys are doing in Chicago uh, and the grant, it really aligned with what I was trying to do. And I was sort of just, you know, over on my own island, just, mm -hmm. um, you know, doing everything I can. So it, it was uh, it was amazing to to be able to find something to partner with and sort of, you know, take everything I'm doing to the next level. So. Um, we sort of met, we clicked, and she shared with me what she was trying to do. I shared with her what I've been doing, and it was just sort of a, it was, it was sort of just a, a easy, um, you know, a, a easy union, you know what I mean? And uh, with the goal being to sort of impact these youth's lives and push their lives forward in a uh, positive direction. So if you can, real quick, just give the truth, uh, uh, our audience, um, let them know a little bit about you, about your background and what you That's uh, what I was going to say. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Well, I'm an I'm a international, um, you know, sex symbol uh, oh. first. Oh. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> no, I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm an actor, I'm a comedian, I'm a, a filmmaker. Um, I um, was in the movie Three Strikes, which is uh, pinned to be a hood classic. This continues to plays all over the world forever. I was on the Eve show. Uh, we shot three seasons, you know, almost seventy episodes of that with, uh, you know, Eve and the late uh, Natalie DeSalle and a bunch of other cool people. Um, I was in the movie Fool's Gold, Matthew McConaughey, Kevin Hart, uh, did uh, um, um, a number of independent films. And so um, that's been my background, acting and independent filmmaking. And I've been pretty blessed to keep um, working. You know what I mean? Uh, just, yeah. you know, right, right, right there at, at the surface working. So that's been a blessing. And um, I think recently, though, I just started to wonder, like, OK, what else? You know, what more? This is cool. This is a blessing. But how do I take what I'm doing to the next level? Because I felt, you know, there was a void. I wasn't getting as excited about the work that I was doing as I should have. And, I, you know, and it, it was a lot of, you know, soul searching. 
um, meeting a couple of great mentors, um, which led me to a number of different places, uh, you know, books that I read. I joined the Rotary and became a Rotarian. And all that sort of came to pass and landed me at a space to where I knew that I wanted to work with youth to help impact their lives and push them forward. Because I think that youth um, in the inner city were struggling because, not, not because they're not as good as, but they just don't have the resources um, to be able to, you know, contend with the rest of the world or even build the foundation that uh, other youth are afforded just when they're born. And so I wanted to do my part to sort of level that playing field, you know, and sort of lure them away from, you know, the constant temptations of gangs and drugs and things like that. You know, the number one reason, which I always say the number, you know, top reason that kids and youth join gangs because they're looking for a sense of belonging. They're looking for a sense of family. And with Left of Bang, we want to be and provide them that sense of family and belonging by, you know, being there for them throughout their youth and their lives. And at the end of the day, we're going to do that through filmmaking and allowing them to touch a piece of that Hollywood magic. And so I think I always say, you know, if, if kids are given a chance to choose between, you know, shooting a gun and shooting movies, they choose shooting movies every yeah. time, hands yeah. down. And so that's what it's about. And then the bang in our name stands for that action moment in a child's life where they decide to pick up a gun, commit a violent act, anything that lures them on the wrong side of the law. And we want to intercept them before that point and uh, keep them left to bang and arm them with the tools, knowledge and expertise that gives them hope and allows them to um, uh, have a pathway to you know, a happy and fulfilled life, whatever that may be. Um, you know, the filmmaking that we introduce is just to, it's just sort of a, you know, backdoor way to mentor them and a mentorship and give them the skills that uh, yeah. allows them to, you know, pursue that field. But, but more importantly, give, instill them with the idea that like, yo, if I could do that, I could do anything. You know what I mean? I was just sitting, chopping up with Anthony Anderson and learning all these things. If I, if I can do that, I could do anything. And that's what we wanted them to walk away with. I, I have one quick. Uh, question, uh, Tracy, if I may. So you mean to tell me that Soul Plane wasn't the hood class? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. It absolutely that was. I, yeah. Oh, that's my movie. <laughs> so, Soul Plane absolutely I'll never was. forget. I'll never forget. I got a quick story about that, if I could share, uh -huh. Tracy. Yeah. I, I was producing, um, I do a piece, uh, I did a piece back in the day. It was called Laughing on the Lakefront. And mm -hmm. I it was I think it was my first show at the Airy Crown. This was like this is a bigger theater here, four thousand square mm -hmm. feet. And yeah. can you introduce yourself first of all? Lithia? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Lithia Smiles. I am um, owner operator of Stay Focused Media Group. And what you spoke to earlier was about uh, Saving Lives, who the uh, nonprofit organization that I work with that I actually uh, took over a few years ago. Um, and I created a passion project, which is called Movie Bootcamp. And what we do is target uh, youth between the ages of 12 to 17-ish. And we try to use mm -hmm. filmmaking as the hook to get mm -hmm. their attention, to get them motivated to maintain engagement uh, throughout the process while we teach them soft and hard skills as it pertains to the movie making process. And that we also uh, enforce, if that's maybe a strong word, but uh, we make it where that they're just not doing any old type of content. They have to do, right. they have to produce content that is violence prevention in nature. So we nice. want them to process trauma and think about it differently and, and discover ways that they behavior can change and or inflict certain things to progress. So yes, we teach them the arts. However, we, the underlining is mental health because we think that with a solid mental health um, that can keep you sustainable uh, throughout other aspects of your life. So absolutely. As we all know, working in urban communities, these kids deal with a lot. Right. So absolutely. That I think I'm preaching to the choir if I go on about that. <laughs> okay. Um, so Brian, so we have, uh, 
our STEM program is, is reaching out. Um, we're targeting uh, the youth from 14 to 18 years of, years of age. So um, can you just let us know what all will you, they be learning um, with the program, with the arts program specifically? Basically, they'll be uh, learning filmmaking, independent filmmaking from start to finish. Uh, independent filmmaking has been my foundation. I've been a part of some very cool projects, big budget projects, but my foundation and what has sustained me and allowed me to feed uh, my family has been my independent filmmaking. And they will walk away knowing everything I know. So it just be a matter of them applying it. So we teach them everything from, you know, start to finish from idea to getting that idea out of your head and into story form, from story form to script form, um, uh, cameras, what cameras they could use, cost effective cameras to get the job done. So they're not waiting, you know what I mean? And their film isn't contingent upon them raising millions and millions of dollars. Uh, cast, acquiring a cast for the film, cameraman, director, producer, and even financing, finding uh, legitimate financing to bring a project to fruition. So, and then, you know, with that, even, you know, okay, so once we finish the film, what do we do? How do right, we right. sell it? How do we get it seen? And right. so we, we, we go through all of that. Now that's a lot. That's a, you know, that's a, that's a whole yeah. lot of information, but I give you the nuts and bolts uh, from start to finish. And then, you know, we, we'll, we'll continue and dive further and deeper into it. You know, uh, if the kids are interested, which I think they will and want to continue to, uh, you know, uh, to learn more and more and, uh, and pull off layers and, and levels of everything that they've learned. So they really do walk away knowing how to make a film that's not contingent of uh, some studio head saying, yes, we'll do this. So they'll have the tools to understand how to do it by themselves. And uh, I think the, the the celebrity that I bring in again is just um, using the power of television to our advantage to really, um, because I, I know what, you know, the kids I've worked with in the past, it makes them feel special yeah. that, you know, Anthony Anderson or J.B. Smooth paused to say what's up to them in essence. And yeah. each guest, you know, leaves them with some jewels. And yeah. I think we take it for granted, but it means a lot to them um, yeah. that moment, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's an important part of the whole thing too, because like I say, you know, it's filmmaking is the icing, but when you slice into it, it's just layers and layers of mentorship. And, and that's how we'll and we'll be the boots on the ground, if you will. And I think that's mm -hmm. amazing because you're going to be setting them up to hit the home run. And then we'll be right there to put the bats in their hands. If Which you is perfect. Yeah. Uh, not yeah. completely, but we'll make sure it's a shiny, great bat. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it can go on tomorrow. Absolutely. So let's, let's have a question. OK, so with that. Um, so once the six week program is, is complete. Um, do we set the parents up with like, this is what um, if your children desire to continue a, a, a career path in this industry, um, do you give the parents tools like, OK, you need to set them up with an agent or uh, if you want them to start, you, they need to get some headshots. Will we do headshots? You know, things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah so those are like with the, the agent and the headshot. Those are those who will be interested in being on camera, um, mm -hmm. being as far as acting and things like that. We can always create some wraparound so solutions. Um okay to give them some post follow-up. What I think, um, and, and I think our best contribution uh, from our perspective is to help them have a tangible walk away short from the ideas and from all the learning. So he made one key point that I like um, that I always push on the youth that I mentor and that I teach is I don't believe in starving artists, right? right. So he said, apply as long as they apply what he taught. And it's only theory until you apply it. Right. right. So my job and I think um, and that's why I'm excited about this is to assist this 
program in ensuring that they apply the knowledge, yeah. right? Because I want them to actually produce what the idea they come up with. Um, we may not be able to produce a full length piece, but we certainly can consider a short yes. and we'll help them um, premiere it, right? And maybe mm-hmm. Brian will fly in to Chicago. Absolutely, 1,000%. Yeah, and we'll make it a, a full we'll make it a full to do and they can mm-hmm. feel very good about it. Cause one of the things that we like to do with the movie bootcamp piece is to bring all the participants up in front of uh, the audience, put them in the director's chairs and let them talk about the process so that they could not only give other future recruits an idea of what they can expect in the program, but also so that they can process what they learned and articulate it. So that right. we know that it's stuck, if you will. Yes. Yeah. Brian, um, when uh right when uh you hopped off for a minute, me and Lathea uh, were talking, I, I said it would be cool if we can probably bring the kids to at the end of the program after all, because you know, some may come, some may drop off, some, you know, but the participants that stay to the end to be able to take them either to LA or Atlanta, uh Lathea suggested Atlanta to one of the studios there, you know, just so, and maybe even do something, you know, uh, do something, create a little uh, short or, you know, dance video, or I don't know, something fun, you know, for them um, after after graduation that they'll produce. Because again, um, this is just the beginning, you know, here for us. And I have a, you know, when I was five, I had a dream, that, uh, lights, camera, action. Mm-hmm. I've always in acting, but I had a daughter at the age of 16 and my father said, go to school for nursing. So that's what I did. But film production has always been a passion of mine, whether it been in acting or behind. I write, I have some scripts, you know, I won the Nickelodeon uh, award. Um, I pitched to Nickelodeon. I won out of over 380 participants at the nice. Black Film. Yeah. So, I mean, so it's in our blood. Lathea, uh, I <laughs> Well, that's um, I'm trying to get in. That's what me and Brian are gonna talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it, you know, again, come back. Th- you know, you talk about 360. It is, and times of preparation are never wasted, and delay doesn't never is never meant you know to be denied. It's just a delay, you know. So you yeah. just have to stay focused. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and every, everybody's uh, journey is different, and it happens. Yeah. You know when it happens, mm-hmm. not necessarily when we want it to happen. Exactly. And, exactly. But, but, but I, also with the I'm I'm you know I'm planning a film right now that I want the youth to be a part of, and we try to have to figure out how we can make that happen. But um, the whole idea with this film is to let you know this group, um, you know, the group of youth, be involved from you know us brainstorming to come up with the name for them being able to spend you know a day or two days, even if we break it up to. You know, in groups on Mm -hmm. set. And and this is a film that they, you know, heard about in the conception stage and the Mm -hmm. script was finished and then the shooting and then they was out there and being a part of it. And then they see it on, you know, Netflix with their names in the credits. And so if it's something there to where, you know, we can get this group involved in that through you guys and uh, Lathea and, you know, and, and figure out that part because this, this, this particular film is really supposed to be about them. I was happy to see that you were willing to come back to our communities to- Absolutely. uh, Not only are you mentoring, but I think you're becoming, you're gonna be a role model uh, for young urban males to have something to look at and strive for and know that it is attainable because some of these guys here in Chicago, they don't even leave off their block, right? So to- Right. Know that right. there are other options and other opportunities for them, um, especially coming from a black man. Um, I think that's huge. I mm-hmm. think it's gonna be, and I'm I'm just happy to be here to assist. Um, and we're definitely gonna jump on board and bring saving lives, uh, mental health, and social services into the mix. And uh, I'm pleased to see that Indica is doing major things here in our city. You know. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be great since it's a great group. And I think we can, you know, we can accomplish some really cool things. Thank you again, Brian, for um, 
providing this wonderful opportunity, Left of Bang Entertainment, providing this wonderful opportunity and partnering up with Indica to make a difference in the uh, lives uh, of our youth and also stay focused. Media, Lathia Smiles, thank you for being our hands and our eyes and our ears and our heartbeat to the city here with the, uh, with the youth that will be working right alongside the uh, Left of Bang. So again, we look forward to it. Remember to uh, log on www theindica.org sign your youth up go on left of bang uh what is it um brian what's your uh, left of bang entertainment.com that's a long one left of bang com. register your youth we're looking for you it will be a program that you do not want to miss we're starting uh, we're going to do an informational next wednesday november 24th right the day before Thanksgiving. So your kids ought to be at home chilling anyway. So let them register, let them get some information. And we are going to be starting promptly in two weeks, not this Wednesday, uh, the 24th, but the following Wednesday, which is, where's my calendar? Is that, De- is that December 1st? That's December 1st. December yeah. 1st. December. We, yeah. uh, we will kick off December 1st. So again, bring your youth, Uh, Bring your talent, bring your skills. If you don't have one, you're going to learn some now. So again, thank you guys for joining us and we will see you soon. And it's all free, right? And it's all free. free. It's it's free. I don't don't charge parents or, you know, kids. It's free. All you have to do is come with an open mind. And if you want to be there, I want you there. And we talked about the age, you know, initially I set out for it to be high school, but, you know, and I always have to say that if there's a kid in junior high that is super passionate about being in the program or even someone who just graduated who really, really needs this program, then they're welcome. You know what I mean? But our target is uh, high school um, kids. But, you know, it's for who needs it. Yes. I I want a director's chair. I want a trailer with a name on the star. I can't have it. All my life, Brian. The trailer man. has to be set to a certain you. temperature. Yeah. yeah. It has to be no. at 78. And again, I bought some flat. <laughs> I love mangoes, sweet mangoes, and sweet a man. nice, healthy, safe man. Got you. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have my Okay. Got okay. you. All right. Got well, you. I'll see you guys later. Talk to you all later. Thank you. Peace. All right, thank you, Tracy.